This module focuses on basic drawings when working with the game engine that we provided. When looking at the game engine, when you're looking at the main class, you'll find the block of code for main, which has the game container inside. There you'll find the size of your output window and some other information about it. I've changed the title of my output window to my first drawings. The width of the window is 800. The height of the window is 600. And I've set the frames per second to 60. For now, we're going to focus on the size. You can change the title to whatever you want. <clears throat> when it comes to the size of the window that you're using, it's important to know what the coordinates uh, represent on your output window. So if we have an output window, much like this box, the top left would represent the coordinates of 0, 0, just like a Cartesian coordinate system. So just like in math, except at the top left would be our origin. And the bottom right then would be the furthest point from there, which in our case right now is an x value of 800 and a y value of 600. Your drawings will be placed on the screen based on x and y coordinates as well as a horizontal and a vertical width. Let's start by drawing a line in our output window. The draw.line command is shown here. Draw.line with the bracket, gfx which we leave alone, that's for the output window, x1, y1 which is the one end of our line. So the first point of our line, just like in a Cartesian coordinate system, x2, y2 is the other end or the last point of our line. The line width is the thickness Color is self-explanatory. Transparency, zero for invisible, which there may be times where you would just like to hide it, and one to make it visible. So we're going to draw a line that starts from a first point of zero, zero, and we're going to draw it to the opposite corner, which would be 800, 600. So that will be my x1, y1, and x2, y2 will be 800, 600. You can change it to be anywhere in your output window. We'll start with this one. So we go back to the code for the main application for where we use the game engine. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, past main, past load content, past the update section, you will find a block of code titled draw. Keep in mind that the program runs from top to bottom, so you will have to position your drawings based on how you want them to overlap or not. For now, we're just going to start with a line. So we'll do draw.line, and you can see the command comes up for you, and most of it is filled in. Now we want to fill in that our first point will be 0, 0, our second point will be 800 by 600, our line width or our thickness for the line, let's set it to 20. The color, we use the helper, so helper dot, and then we can choose a color here. Let's go with red. And then transparency, one, so that it's visible on the screen. Now if I run this program, you can see I've drawn a line from the top left to the bottom right of the output window. We can move this line around if we don't want it to be from the top left to the bottom right. We can change the positions of the two ends. Maybe we want it to start at 100 by 300 and maybe we'll have it end at 400 by 500. can also change the thickness.
and this shows I've moved my line to a different position. There are other, other colors that you can choose in the helper, but another method of using color, we can use the red, green, blue values, so the RGB values. So one website that I've found that is quite useful for helping you choose RGB values is colorpicker.com. Colorpicker.com allows you to move a uh, cursor around in the box, also to change the color, as uh, so you can find the RGB values that best suit a color that you would like to use. So I'm going to use this one here, sort of a nice pale blue. So instead of red, I've changed my helper.getColor to the three values that I found from colorpicker.com so that when I run it, I can use the color right from there, which is a little bit more uh, useful than just using the standard colors. But of course, if you're just using the standard colors, um, by all means. The next shape that we will draw will be a rectangle. This is also used for drawing squares. You just make the horizontal width and the vertical width the same value. So when we're drawing rectangles, what we want on the screen will be something like this. For draw.rect, this will give us a rectangle with a border only and no color on the inside. Now x1, y1 in this case represents the top left corner of our rectangle. So x1, y1 represents that top left corner. Now the horizontal width would be from left to right. And the vertical width from top to bottom. So that all other corners are calculated using those values. The line width is the thickness of that border again, the color is self-explanatory, and the transparency has the same idea as before. For a draw.fill rectangle, instead of a line width, which is no longer needed here, we just have the color. That's because it will fill in the inside of that rectangle with that specific color. Let's add a rectangle to our output window. Uh, let's start from with our rectangle, putting it at 100 by 100. And let's have a width of 200 by 50. We'll make the line width 10. We'll give it a color of blue this time. And a transparency of 1. So that when I run my program, I have my rectangle 100 by 100, and then the horizontal and vertical widths are measured from there. Let's also add in a fill rectangle. So draw that fill rect. Let's put it at 50 by 50, so that we can see it in behind or over top of the last one. So my width, I will make it. Uh, 400 wide and maybe 200 tall and we'll make it be a nice yellow color. Okay, so where I've placed it shows you that because it comes after the draw.rect, it actually draws it over top. So keep in mind that your drawings are all drawn from in the code based from the top of the program to the bottom. So whatever comes after the previous will overlap with the one before it. If I want to be able to see the rectangle from before, I can move my fill rect so that it is drawn first and then the one that has no filler inside is drawn second. And then you can see the order of the drawings there. 